Hey guys, on today's Talking Mod, we're going to discuss top tier gasoline and how it affects your car or doesn't affect it. Let's talk about it. Alright guys, so on today's Talking Mods, we're going to talk about top tier gasoline. If it actually affects your car and what's going on there. So there is a lot of different types of gasoline out there, a lot of manufacturers, right? We have Chevron, Shell, Costco, and some other ones. In particular, there is actually a rating board, and we're gonna put that link in here as well. You can see is, you have your rating set for your car, right? So you've got your 87, your 80, 89, 91 here in California, or 92 if you're in the East Coast. And obviously you need to try to adhere to it because it affects the performance of your vehicle. So is there a big difference? And some people believe that there's no difference between the 91 or an 87, and one gas station to the next. Well, that's not true. You can see the injectors and what happens in there. So there's detergents that are added into the gasoline and every single manufacturer adds a different type of detergent in there. Oh, I didn't know that. Now, some gas stations are using the exact same gas and the only thing that makes them different is a little dye that lets them know, hey, this belongs to this station, whether it's a Valero or a Chevron. Let's say it's the same. I don't know if it's the same. When the guys who's filling in their gasoline he basically just throws a little dye in there to distinguish what gas station it came from and so forth because they have their distinctive blocker. What blocker? I don't know what it was, whatever it's called. Anyway, point being, these gas stations do use different grades of detergents that are in there. Now you'll notice in the top tier, what is really interesting is 76 comes out on top. One of the gas stations often looked at as a, as a lesser of the quality and as actually does really well is Costco gasoline. Welcome to Costco. I love you. Now Costco gasoline comes in at the top tier and they adhere to all the standards. That means that they are actually, they're checking it, they're switching out their nozzles, everything that they need to be a top tier gasoline. While the Arcos and so forth, they're using like alcohol type of products and different types of detergents that you know are gonna affect your, uh, affect your injector. Well, that's legitimately disappointing. Now in older vehicles, this makes a huge difference. In forced induction vehicles, it does really make a big difference, but it will make a big difference regardless. And you can see this when you put, you put your vehicle on a dyno. When we look at the horsepower output for the vehicle, you'll really see it. And you'll also feel it as you're driving sometimes. You'll kind of feel it like kind of bogged down a little bit. You might feel a little bit of hesitation. And you know, for the longevity of the, the parts there, the fuel pumps, all this, the injectors, all that is affected by the gasoline that you pick. So why not just pick the best top tier for your car? Should you use the 91 or 92 octane for your vehicle? Well, duh. You do affect the horsepower numbers. It does affect it. And oftentimes when you look at dyno numbers, and if you're trying to achieve, you know, certain horsepower numbers, check the octane that was put in there. Oftentimes, you know, they're even going above 91. Well, I keep saying 91 because here in California we have 91. We're trying to get to 92 or uh, like in a Porsche, for example, it requires a 95. There's no way to get the recommendation because the tuning, the vehicle is engine tuned specifically for that type of gasoline. It was tuned with that in mind. So when you're putting a lesser quality in there, it obviously hurts the the horsepower so just simple logic and what often people do is they put add in an octane booster and you mix the two they're not very expensive I wouldn't highly recommend doing that on a regular basis but if you're trying to achieve horsepower numbers you're going out for a spirited drive you're going to enjoy the vehicle why not have a bottle of an octane booster it's again the detergents that are going to help it stay clean and so forth it does work it does give it that higher amount some people actually will put in a hundred octane and do the math and they measure it and then they'll balance out to where they need to be and to get to like a 95 now every vehicle is different but again, this is just some piece of information. And then just to add on to this, hopefully you like this subject, just in case if you are interested in additional stuff that affects horsepower numbers when you're reading a dyno, look at also other, other factors. Temperatures are gonna be a huge factor to the way a car performs. Obviously the colder the weather, it's gonna perform better. The hotter it is, it's gonna perform worse. Also altitude will affect it. So a vehicle really performs just like the human body does, like a, like a runner does, right? If I tell you to go run out in 120 degree weather, you're not gonna like it. You're gonna not run it to your max performance but if you're running out at oh, I don't know it's 65 degrees outside and you go out running and sledding just enjoying it one thing oops by the time you build up a sweat and everything it's gonna take a while the same thing happens with your vehicle very similar in that regards right and the same thing with altitude a runner that's running at high altitude has a higher problem so it's the same thing with fuel fuel is kind of like the food that you're putting into your body right if you put clean burning fuel right you put good nutrients into your body if you're a bodybuilder or so forth you understand this concept it's gonna perform better and the same thing happens with your vehicle 
vehicle. Hopefully that analogy made sense. But check it out, some pretty interesting information. Costco is actually a top tier gas. Do I look like I've got a Costco card? So if you've got your Lambo or Porsche or whatever it is, don't feel ashamed to take it at Costco. They have great prices and I think it's a highly misunderstood thing. Honestly, look at where the top tiers around your area are and use it. Guys, if you like this subject or any additional other subjects, let us know in the comments. As always, please hit like. Looking forward to your comments. If you haven't already done so, subscribe. Thanks again, and I'll see you on the next one.